95.8 and time to have some breakfast now today I ain't having the flavor I want all right today I got the cinnamon roll one it's a good one that's all they had to for a good flavor at Kroger because mine haven't came in yet should be coming in today but not only is this breakfast it's also my pre-workout meal we're gonna be hitting up some chest today but physique Alright guys, I figured I'd provide a little commentary because to be honest, this workout sucked. Alright, I started out with some bench press. I, I think the main reason this workout sucked was because I was tired going into it and just I wasn't there mentally. But like I said, I started out with bench press and if you see right here at 185, it was ridiculously heavy for me. I wound up doing this for like four sets of six. I was wanting to do sets of eight, but I, I just couldn't get those last two reps. So. After doing about four sets of six, I decided to move on to incline dumbbells, all right, which you're going to see in the next clip, but usually I do dumbbells as backup for when my bench press isn't good, but for today, dumbbells weren't good. I, I was real weak on them too. Uh, I was only able to go up to about 80 pounds, and usually I can do 80 for eight to 10 reps. Here, I'm struggling to get eight. I, I think I got it for three sets of eight and then a set of six which you'll see the set of six in the next clip so to kind of combat my bad chest day I decided to rewrite my whole workout plan and go over to my favorite machine all right now my favorite machine you'll see it in the next clip but I decided to pretty much restart my whole workout act as if I haven't been working out already and go as heavy as I could on it and then run it back down so Y'all enjoy the next clips and enjoy the back workout to come. Ninety six point four. 
little weight fluctuation kind of pretty normal uh, just dependent because I ate a little different yesterday based on my timing so to be expected but for now I'll show you what we're doing for breakfast a little physique and today I'm doing it different for breakfast still a quest bar a little different style though today back with the chocolate chip cookie dough but today I'm not just going to eat it normal I'm going to actually cook it and show you how we do that the first thing you want to do is well all right first thing you want to do is you want to put your oven i put it on uh i just hit broil put it on broil set it on high uh you can also put the oven on 425 because we're going to be cooking it for six minutes in the oven so cook it in the oven uh you're going to want to go ahead and take your crust bar out your wrapper put it on a paper towel because you're going to have to heat up in the microwave so you can kind of mold it and then you're going to get a sheet of aluminum foil i fold it in half and then I fold it each side up to kind of make a little tray out of it. Just, you can also just put aluminum foil on a pan and do like that too, but I didn't feel like putting it on a pan and getting the pan dirty just for one little breakfast. So now we're going to put the Quest Bar in a microwave for about eight seconds, just enough to get it a little mushy so that you can kind of mold it with your hands flattened down into a cookie shape. All right, so Quest Bar out the microwave. It's all flimsy, mushy now. You fold it in half and kind of mash it with your hand. And, oh, I'm doing that. And your goal here, guys, I'm just kind of, I mean, you can make it whatever shape you want to. It was Valentine's Day, so you're making it for your girl. You can make a heart shape. If it was St. Patrick's Day, you could do a clover. But if you're like me and you're just hungry right now, you make a flat cookie. And we're gonna stick this in the oven for six minutes. Let me wash my hands. They got they get cookie all over. I about messed up. You gotta spray this first. Otherwise you'll have stuck cookie. Now we're putting in the oven six minutes. Now, one of the benefits of cooking on broil as opposed to putting on 425, now I know not all ovens have this option, but the reason I do broil is you don't have to wait for it to heat up. It heats up a lot quicker than just doing it on, then waiting for it to get up to 425, because I used to do it that way, and then I decided, screw it, throw it on broil, and it worked a lot faster. Same quality product, Telling you, it's gonna be amazing. So, give it six minutes and I'll show you all the final product. <clears throat> I just learned a lesson. I remember why I haven't done this in a while. I remember why I don't let it heat up on broil. <laughs> Look at this. Burnt the shit out of it. Oh well, it's only burnt on one side. But this is half of it, done eight other half. Man, it looks like a freaking brick. Burnt that side, but this side, very good. Still a good cookie, and we're gonna retry this tomorrow. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Uh, now, about to get ready for a back workout. Uh, I already took my pre workout, took me some bang, uh, blue rays, but my bodymun.com order came in yesterday, which is what allowed me to have my chocolate chip cookie dough crust bar for breakfast. And one of the things that was in my order was this waist belt. All right, it's a waist trimmer, so we're gonna be putting it to the test. See if it really helps to slim up your waist. All right, now, before y'all go to commenting and saying, chance there's no such thing as spot fat loss. You know that man? Well, I also know that I don't sweat around my hips. So, you know, I've sweet sweat, which is what I thought about buying, on top of this, you know, doing a little rub action and sweating my butt off during my workout, decided not to. Uh, just because I want to check to see just how well this one does first, see if it really can slim up my waist. Mm -hmm. Now, also I didn't want to drop a bunch of cash on it. It sounds like 10 bucks. And you just, it's, it's a neoprene weight belt, stretchy. Uh, fits up to a 36, so I'm good. Thank goodness. If it was 37, I'd have been done. 
No, I don't have 36 inch waist. But also in my order was some more bang. Uh, this is the Sour Heads one. Uh, I've tried this one, it's pretty good. But I'm, I wanna, I just like to change up my flavors all the time on pre-workout. Like back when I was taking C4, I would, my favorite was the strawberry margarita. I would switch that up. Now the reason I don't take it too much anymore is because I was getting to where I was almost doing two scoops. And I felt like I needed something stronger. But, so, the, the majority of my order was Quest Bar Galore. Now yes, I do work at Vitamin Shop and I could have got a discount on all those. But even with my discount, it was still cheaper to get it through bodybuilding.com. And I needed more pre-workout and this is cheaper on bodybuilding. So, another thing is, Vitamin Shop does not hook me up with the free samples. We got some Fit Joy protein bars, and we actually just got these in at Vitamin Shop, so I'm thinking they're a pretty new product. We got chocolate chip cookie dough and chocolate peanut butter. Sounds like the good flavors. Uh, check out. Oh, what a scam. I better tell the nutrients on these things. <clears throat> See if I can open up this book. It's not a book. So I'm guessing this is like a half a serving. So I'm gonna have to actually look up the nutrients. I wasn't gonna eat them now or anytime soon anyways. I'm gonna wait until after my little day is over, my little 21 day challenge. But I've been having some real luck with this guy this morning, guys. First thing, I tried to show you on my cookie. Now girls, don't be showing guys your cookies. Uh, I burnt the crap out of it. <laughs> because I haven't done it in a while. I was a little cocky going into it, you know, walk in. Messed it up. Uh, number two, it was some real shit. But the uh, second thing that happened to me, that was a little pun in case y'all didn't catch the number two and shit. Anyways, uh, so I'm trying to upload my video, get it uploaded, because I want to get the first day's video uploaded and working out. And something happened to where my camera did not import the videos to iMovie and so when I went to go I was I like to review my movie before I physically put it on YouTube and when I went to go review it it said videos not found uh, or said no it said camera missing so what had happened what what had happened was the videos were still on my camera but somehow it let me make the whole movie so I gotta figure that out when I get back because right now I don't really have time for it uh, it's nine o'clock right now. I'm about to go work out. Like I said, pre-workout's tingling. I need to get on the road. Uh, but I have a haircut at 12:30, so I'm gonna be out and about until then. Uh, but today we're hitting up some back workout. My favorite. Uh, we're actually gonna try and do some lat pull downs today. But hopefully this work, this workout's gonna just allow me to reset the day, uh, so that I don't because. <laughs> So far, my luck has not been good today. Uh, didn't have the weigh-in I wanted. Didn't. Uh, breakfast sucked. Video didn't go up. That's, that's three things. Now, if my haircut gets butchered, I'm done for. I'm, I'm ending the day. I'm going to sleep the rest of the day. But let's go hit up a workout, and hopefully this will all reset. Bring me to my knees.
DJ So Funky Man. Bring me to my knees So guys, good back workout. Uh, it feels nice to finally be able to do a lap pull down with decent weight. Uh, I haven't, the past week I couldn't do no more than maybe 80 pounds without it hurting. So today I went up all the way to 180. Uh, I didn't start out with it just in case it did hurt. I waited till about midway through my workout to start doing them. But now I know that I can start doing them again. I'm almost I'm almost 100% healed. Uh, I'm still gonna not gonna try and do like a shoulder press like a military press or anything with it just because it still does hurt a little bit and so I'm gonna give it that little extra time because I'd rather take the time have it heal all the way than for it to not heal I think it zoomed in yeah all right and so I'd rather have it heal completely instead of letting it get like 90% trying and hurting again so uh, right now I'm at my grandma's house we gotta stop by and visit for a while since my haircut just got pushed back to one o'clock. Ain't really too happy about that. It was act, it was originally scheduled for 11:30. All right, she called me. Well, she take my hairstylist texted me yesterday, asking if I can move back to 12:30. I was like, yeah, no problem. Well, now she's having to. She had another problem come up, and she's having to deal with having to move it back to one o'clock, which. I'm trying not to drive back home because I don't like wasting gas like that because I don't really live close to anything. So I'm trying to stay out here, but at the same time, I'm, I need to eat. So I guess I'm just going to wait until and eat after my haircut. It's not that really that big a deal. But you got to overcome the challenges that come up. This isn't really a big challenge, though. But, and guys, when you say you're gonna do something you schedule uh, you you try you hit that schedule you don't reschedule and reschedule and reschedule no you reschedule maybe once don't even try to do that try and hit everything because your word is everything guys if you say you're gonna do something do it which that is my reason behind doing this I slack on my diet a lot but this 21 day thing it's keeping me true to my diet uh, I'm actually really enjoying it right now. Uh, I'm eating a lot of food, so it's n it's not a problem right now. Maybe a week or two, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna go in, visit my grandma, and probably play with my little nephew for a little bit. He's he's a trip, but I'll check in with y'all later. <laughs> 